Hi everyone, this is Ramalinga Prasad Kuppa. Welcome to my channel, Pharma World. Today's topic is how to read and understand pharmacopoeia in a scientific way. Knowledge of pharmacopoeia is most important for any QC chemist. The pharmacopoeia has to be understood to full extent to get best out of it. Let us see how we can move forward on this. Let us look into the basic understanding of the requirement. Pharmacopoeia should be used only as a guide. Pharmacopoeial text is only suggestive and generic in nature. It is necessary to capture the pharmacopoeial text in an imperative mandatory style. You have to use the pharmaco any pharmacopoeia as a guide only. The text in pharmacopoeia is suggestive and generic in nature. It is not possible to follow the test method step by step as done on the bench top of the lab. The actual practical activity on the bench top is not described in the pharmacopoeia. See this example. Prepare a mixture of 0.01 molar sodium borate and acetonitrile 3 is to 1. There are several missing links in this procedure. There is a requirement to know how 0.01 molar sodium borate solution is made, how much quantity to be prepared, what is the grade of sodium borate used, etc. The same is the case with acetonitrile also. If the test method is a HPLC method, you need to use HPLC grade as 2 nitrile. 3 is to 1 ratio is also not clear. It should be clear on how much volume of 0.01 molar sodium borate is used and how much of S2 nitrile is used, how to mix these two, what is the sequence of mixing, etc. You have to write very clearly in your STP. See the other example, dissolve an accurately weighed quantity of USP RS standard in diluent and dilute quantitatively to obtain a solution having a known concentration of about 0.2 mg per ml. That's all is given, no more details are given. So it is very important that you should have an STP which contains the details of how much standard is taken, how much it is diluted to, and you get a final solution which has about 0.2 milligrams per ml. So all these details are required. So it is very important that you draft a standard test method or call it an STP with details of each step of the test method. So accordingly, your STP should have details of the grade of sodium borate, a stone nitrile, how much to weigh, dilute, with which solvent, maybe water in this case, etc. in a very, very detailed fashion in your STP. Let us see more on this. There are several links in the pharmacopoeial procedures. Few examples include reference to general chapters, some letters are in italics. Some references like R, R1, RS, TS, etc. Precautions while making the test solutions. Requirements of specific glassware, example, low actinic. These kind of references are there. Here, general chapters refer to the general test methods that are used for testing some of the parameters. Some letters are in italics. There is a separate section that is linked with necessary data. The references like R, R1, RS, TS, etc. are suffixed for several reagents, test solutions, volumetric solutions, etc. There are specific requirements mentioned for each type of reference. You have to use exactly the same quality of reagents, test solutions, etc. 
in several places precautions while preparing these solutions must be considered in some places it says prepare the solutions freshly there is a definition for that uh, freshly prepared solutions that means on the day of testing those solutions must be prepared what is low actinic it looks it sounds to be a different word in fact it is a light resistant glassware to make it simple to understand it is the amber colored glassware so you have to draft a detailed stp including all the above requirements of the pharmacopeia you cannot use the letters like r r1 rs ts etc as they are specifically referred to pharmacopeia let us see a typical usp monograph let us see the details in this see this number 5933 is a chemical abstract service number see this is a reference to the general chapter the ultraviolet absorption is done as per the section 197u you have to do exactly as prescribed in this this talks about the details of concentrations of the reagent solutions like 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution here it says low actinic glassware has to be used low actinic means amber colored this also refers to the concentration of the solution and see this italic information is a reagents you have to refer the reagent section for this the usp reference is this so if you are using the standard you have to use the usp reference standard so you have you have to understand all these points very clearly very specifically let us see more on this there is a reference to the general chapter 621 that is chromatography so if you want to carry out this analysis on chromatography you should understand fully the content and the intent of this 621 chapter so you have to go through fully the more it says only lc what is lc lc means liquid chromatography you have to refer the exact equipment you have in your lab and write its name in your detailed stp if you have other equipment also you can say equivalent see the stationary phase is l1 the packing is l1 there are several suppliers who supply the materials of l1 with uh, different dimensions so you have to be very clear on these things so you have to be very specific in writing to this column and you have to write this in your stp in a detailed fashion if you have a equivalent column that particular point also you have to refer in your stp i hope that you understand well on the importance of the pharmacopeia how to read connect to all general chapters reagents test solutions precautions selection of glassware etc and capture all the requirements into your stp in an imperative mandatory style i am sure by now you understood the meaning of imperative mandatory style never do paraphrasing at the pharmacopeia this is not a good approach at all thanks for watching for more videos please do subscribe like and share thank you